Guys, in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to Bear Dynamic MCW series push to talk conference microphones. Why do we use in boardrooms like this one or meeting rooms and uh, how the installation process works and the signal flow. All right, so let's just jump into the video. For this demonstration, I'm using the Bear Dynamic uh, MCW uh, D531 uh, push to talk conference microphone for boardrooms like this one. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, this microphone operates on 2.4 gigahertz frequency, and at one time, uh, you can install about nine microphones with the control unit due to the limitation of the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, okay, uh, it is encrypted uh, with D triple S transmission. So uh, anybody who wants to hack into uh, the audio would not be able to easily hack into the audio because it has a D triple S modulation uh, and you can do more research on it. Uh, okay, so that's about the security. Uh, now this is the microphone, right? Right here as you can see this is the microphone and this these are the built-in speakers now these built-in speakers they can be disabled uh, with a PC app um, which I'll show you or I'll leave the uh, link in the description below what app it is uh, so at the moment with this configuration obviously the built-in speakers they are disabled uh, but if they are not disabled and you are engaged in a conference call then once you want to speak into the microphone the speaker automatically uh, turns off and once uh, the speaker turns on the microphone switches off so there is no echo going on so that's the way it does its echo cancellation uh, but at the moment this is not installed uh, this way the telephone line the analog telephone line is an integrated telephone line and I'll show you how that is installed as well uh, so uh, as I was saying this is uh, the microphone and the pickup pattern is uh, corridor uh, so what corridor means is if you're sitting down if 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 I sit down like this then this microphone uh, would pick up uh, me correctly and if I stand up like this and move around uh, then obviously the microphone would still pick me up uh, the built-in battery in it is uh, NIMH with eight cells and uh, with full charge which is 3.5 hours in the docking station it lasts for about 30 hours and as I said you can install maximum of uh, nine microphones in a boardroom uh, which run on 2.4 gigahertz frequency okay so how this system works obviously you can see this is the Crestron panel which controls <clears throat> a lot of stuff in this room like the lighting the blinds it's automated guys for the automation part obviously uh, this is the Crestron panel that is controlling the blinds and the lights uh, as you can see those lights in this room and obviously this controls uh, the uh, audio function uh, so basically in this room there are no other microphones installed as you can see they're not see there are no ceiling microphones so these are the only microphones uh, if you are engaged in an audio call and uh, now how uh, these microphones they are uh, connected uh, with the uh, analog line so I'll just explain it to you and obviously uh, this touch panel gives you the access to dial the numbers and control other functions in this room but I'll explain you like how uh, the signal flows so basically if you look here this is the rack room so this is the charging base unit or for these microphones and as I said you can only use up to nine microphones uh, for uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, bandwidth and uh, this is the control unit for these microphones as you can see like right here and it has got nine channels uh, so basically uh, this is the receiver uh, so when these microphones they are sending the audio it's picked up by this control unit uh, and all the microphones they get registered to this control unit via a code which you can obviously set up via the PC app uh, 
uh, to make it more secure. Uh, so once it, this the unit receives the mic, uh, the audio, it then outputs the audio to a DSP. In this case, we have a Polycom Sound Structure C8. So uh, this is doing all the DSP, and it has got a built-in uh, telephone balancing unit as well, and where a tel analog telephone line is connected. So this is receiving uh, the audio the mi local microphone audio and then it's outputting to the speakers and obviously then it's outputting via the telephone line uh, for the incoming audio this is receiving the audio and then obviously it's outputting to the local speakers installed in the room and this is doing all the echo cancellation as well this dsp now uh, for the control part like i showed you the crestron panel uh, there was a telephone page on it uh, how that is controlled so basically then we have this uh, uh, control crestron control unit here which controls the audio and video in this uh, room this is the av2 version and uh, basically it controls all the devices in this rack and in this room uh, so uh, once you dial something from the touch panel then touch panel sends the signal to this then this sends that signal uh, to basically this device that okay uh, you know i want to dial this number blah 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 and then this device dials the number so this is how the audio flows uh, so i'll just give you a demonstration as well so basically this is the interface of the touch panel you just dial the number and then just uh, uh, hit ok i mean i don't have any other camera at the moment uh, to uh, record on my phone because i'm recording this video from my phone uh, so once you have dialed the number obviously you would be engaged in the call the remote uh, voice would come out of the ceiling speakers and then obviously these are the main microphones which are spread across the boardroom or meeting room guys hope you have liked this video short video about how to set up the push to talk bear dynamic mcw series microphone in boardroom and uh, meeting rooms uh, if you have then please click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel and i'll keep making good av videos take care bye bye